So. Yeah. This looks. Oh, dude, that is straight up a yellow pen. Look at that one. That looks just like the police bow. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's almost identical. And that thing's got the tower folded down, but pretty close to a yellow pen. Yeah. No, it definitely, definitely looks very much like a yellow pen. Nothing Not in sure. this thing, though. Pretty bare. Yeah, it's very bare. No. Oh, I bet all the switches are um, on well, I mean, the gauge. The rigging is like laying in front of the engines. Oh, is it? It's rolled up and zip tied in front of the engines. There's, oh. not, there's nothing hooked up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nothing. So, all right, let's go on to Sea Hunt then. It's or just a show bowl. Uh, those show guys bowl. off that contender. Yeah, they're off that contender. I'll back up on there. I like the blue. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. These doors. Yeah, this is nice. So you can get up here and walk on that. It's not slick. Yeah, it just matches the whole, everything. I like it. I like it. Tons of seating. Talk about TV screens. Yep, twelve thousand a piece. How you doing? Same deal with the JL speakers. That it's pretty nice. Although that ladder is pretty not. Oh, this thing's got pillows in it too. It's ready. Yeah. That fresh boat smell. I'm very curious as to what's back here. Hey yo, the air conditioner, all the rigging. You turn up this ISO. Oh man. Yep. Very yeah. nice. That all looks really nice. Very nice. This thing's kitted out, ready to sleep in right now. I'm about to hop in. I'm rolling out this way. The sea hunts, sea hunts, sea hunts are in a bad boat. They're nice. They're, they're nice little boats. I've never had a problem with sea hunt. No, and they're not bad price either. See, look, one hundred thirty-nine thousand for twenty-six. Trip hazard right there, dude. I friggin' said. Dunk.
See that? Well, Aaron. Thirty footer, two hundred thirty-eight thousand. What? No, dude. The Brabus. I knew that's exactly what that was. Do you know? Do you know what Brabus is? Uh. -uh. Do you know what Hennessy is? The car, the car company that takes cars and like mm. soups them up, makes them better. Yep. Brabus is like that, but they do Mercedes, and apparently Mercury's. Huh. And they have their own boat, apparently. But yeah, look at that G-Wagon. That's a souped up Brabus G-Wagon, Mercedes. Jeez. That thing is sick. God. And then that one right there. Yeah, they don't even want like, you. They're like axle pars that are like souped up. Oh yeah, that's what, look. Oh. Axle par. They're right, sorry. They're right next to the axle par thing because they're, that's what Brabus does. They don't make their own stuff. They, they just deck it out. They deck out. But like, they're so legit, they can put their logo on everything. Mm-hmm. And then here's See, the axle part. I'm just not an axle part guy, dude. Really? Yeah, I just, I love these boats. Really? I love these boats, the way they look. They're so cool. And man. And then big old cabin, I, th I think you haven't noticed yet. But the cabins, that's what I'm in for. <laughs> like, this, instead of a center console, just like you need to be in. You need to be in cold areas. Huh? So you need to be in somewhere that's cold. Somewhere that's cold? No, 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 no. It's gonna have AC. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is a boat. Yeah. Like look at this. You can't tell me this is not I mean some of the coolest stuff you've ever seen. It's alright, but what? All right, this is crazy. And I bet you them 450s ain't even actually pushing 450. What do you think they're pushing? Huh? So what do you think they're pushing? I don't know, but Brabus is known for... Souping up? Lots of host powers. Dude, look at, what is that? Huh? Holy cow. Yeah, I saw that thing earlier, I was like... Phew. All right, we're nice gonna, boat. we'll have to go over there, but again, I'm still not. It ain't for me, man. Hey, that's all right. Just like, oh wow, fire. Just like winning's not for you. I know, I get it. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, you hit the nail right on the head there. <laughs> Dude, their booth is just Dude, I'd, I'd rather crazy. just... Crazy. I almost rather just admire it from the outside. There's a whole party happening on this boat. So it looks like. <laughs> no, I'm getting on. Look at those accesses. Yeah, I couldn't not get on. Oh, lose your finger, mate. And that's definitely the party center right in there, huh?
Oh, you can get in from there and there. Yeah. This is luxurious. So you got... Got what? Access there and through the middle. Yep. It's pretty interesting. I'm gonna hop down in there. Yeah, I'm going to. here too yeah oh yeah it pops up it's crazy Excuse me. yeah look at the stove the Garmin guys looking at Simrad display <laughs> that's funny Okay. Same thing with that, um... Is that windshield oh, go in and out? On. What? That's a bunch of storage down in there. Mm-hmm. Is that window going in and out, I wonder? But it does. It might. Nope. Oh, uh, it's a wraparound nope. all the way? Yep. Yep. That window okay. does not go down. That would be pretty cool if it could, but... Interesting. Dude, you can't There's tell another me. one of them cameras. You can't tell me these boats aren't sick. Hey, I'm, I mean, it's all right. What? I like it. Come I like on. it, but I'm not a fan. You like it, but you're not a fan. You might be the worst. Wellcraft, the same thing. Yeah, but Wellcraft is ugly. I know, I don't like it. I'm <laughs> telling you, man, I'm not a fan. <laughs> Blue Waters, Blue Waters ain't bad. You know? Crown Lines, all through here. Never heard of them. That ain't too bad. All right, StarCraft, go in here. Nice. I'll give it to Yamaha with those shows. Huh? I'll give it to Yamaha with the shows. The cowlings look. Yeah, look pretty, I do like those cowlings. Sick. The show cowlings? Can't even lie. Pontoons. Oh, there goes Parker. Oh, we're going to some sailfish. Sailfishes? Where's Parker? Oh, yeah. Over there. We got to take a look at that one. Well, mm -hmm. I'm just. Sailfishes are nice. Did we already look at Sportsman? I think we did, no, right? No, we haven't. Oh. Sportsman's. Nice 
nice bay boats. See, Sportsman, I, I'm not a. I, I think they're pretty good. I like them. Mm -hmm. 105,000 for 24. It's a clean looking boat. I like the 304 2 liter. Nice engine. Well, <laughs> you know what? what it is. <laughs> it's a nice engine. You know what I like? I like this jack plate switch. Like, no, no, no. I'm so serious. Because I've taken. That is a jack plate, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah. I've, take, I've taken a few boats out with jack plates, and I'm not really all too versed with using them. I know how they work. Right. And I know what they're intended to do. But having to reach for the buttons, it's not as good as having your hand on the steering wheel and just like a turn signal. No, I, I'm with you 100% on that. It's like, why doesn't everybody do that? Oh. Huge cabin. That's what Man. I'm here for. I'm here. I'm here for the TV screens, dude. <laughs> TV screens on the dash. That's what I want. Mic still recording? Yeah. Check the mic. Yeah, mine okay. is. Yours is? Oh, that's what I'm asking you. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yep. Is mine still recording? That's what I'm asking you. Okay. I don't care about Let's go you. Check out the Parkers. Whoa. That is weird. What? I don't think I've seen a center console parker that big, but they look exactly like the cabin ones. Like in terms of the the shape of the hull. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I ain't too big a fan. Really? Like I like this. You know, I like this. With the way the bow goes up. Like that works. I don't like this. Look, the this way the bow goes up. 182,000. Dude. They even break it down to you. In, they even break it down to you. You're basically paying a mortgage. I mean, this is pretty, you know. Yeah, 100%. 100%. They're cool boats, though. See, this one. These, these are kind of nice. I like the way the bow goes on these. And I guess I'd like that one a little more if it wasn't for that anchor platform. Bow pulpit? It's just weird. So I guess let's go back here and work down that side because we didn't we didn't work that side. Okay. Oh really? I mean we're doing pretty good. I mean we've covered most of the show. It's almost four o'clock. Well we're we're probably three quarters down. Yeah. New model. New model. model. Does that mean they unveiled it here? Nah, it just means it's a new model. Okay. Wow. Q and A. Okay. Well, Blue you know, waters. I'm gonna take back that statement about Wellcraft. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Wow. Okay. Let's check her out. <laughs> I'm all for it. That's old school. You right? Yeah. So this you like? Yes. Look at the deck. And I can't believe that you don't. And it's all right. What? Dude. And it is. I'm about it. Look at, look at the bar over here, a little whiskey and glasses. How you doing? That's where your uh, airbag goes. <laughs> Is it really an airbag? Come no, I see no airbag. I was about to say, dude, that'd be crazy. I mean, I, I like the dash layout. I'll tell I you mean, what, though. I mean, all right. I'll tell you I, what, though. I this just don't like weird. the way the hole is shaped, man. This is a little weird how there's two seats right here.
go bigger, go bigger with the big pen, and get something that you know you're going to want to take a while. Sheesh. Get out of my way. Did you even see nothing? Get out of my way. All right, all right, I'm out of here. Yeah, dude, fun. look at this. Oh, man. This is it right here. about all this though switch an alarm this manual and auto I'd rather just have a straight auto with the manual switch you'd rather got a little vessel before they got that switch where the, the builds pump you can put it on manual or auto like I'd rather um, just have the auto always on like yeah you hold know. on because what happens when the batteries are off well, also what happens if you've got to switch to manual and you forget to switch it back to auto, does it not have a flow switch? Uh, yeah, it's a good question, isn't it? Not bad, not bad. Not bad. They're all right. Look, I can see how you think the hull looks a little wonky, but I assure you, nobody cares. It's about the luxury inside. Real crazy. Blue waters. See, blue water's doing all right. Yeah. Looks like a contender, but I don't think they ride like a contender. Hmm. Go through here. No, I think that was a contender. In the middle? Yeah. They had the American flag with the logo on the back. Oh, well, yeah. Le what do we got yeah. here? Oh, Pioneers. These are those boots that, um, we're back to the we're back to well the budget friendlies. Bulls Bay? No, Pioneers. It's um it's not Pioneers, it's Seaborn. Seaborn, yeah. Seaborn. Where so are Pioneers they at? are interesting. Where are the Seaborns Take off the lower at? units? Twin V's. I forgot you have an Ocean Master, the, the For now. See how it is similar oh, okay. wise. Got this all open in the back. We got the washdowns. I like that. Live well here. Console looks really, really similar. This looks like. Oh, wow. Looks very similar. Yep. I'll tell you what. It just looks cleaner. It's it looks same, pretty nice. It looks the same and it's cleaner. And they got rid of, oh no, they moved the step down up. This is a 29? I'll tell you what, it's pretty nice. I don't know. What is it? It says 296. Oh. So mine is just a stuff down. It's like cut back compared to this. Oh, it's got a second station. 
Hmm? A second station on it. Oh, it's got a second station? Mm-hmm. Oh. Interesting. Why would you go up there in the blistering heat? <laughs> I didn't even notice that up there. See that? Crazy. What's a crevale? I've seen a couple of them. I people. You know the worst part is what? Even if I wanted to like make my life easier with taking the shoes on and off, these are the only pair of shoes I own right now. So <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Twin V's. Some duo prompts on the 350 Suzuki's. All right. That's a wide boat. It's a wide boat, that twin V there. Yep. Cravels. Nice looking boats. Sea Keeper. Where? Oh, oh look at yeah. The, look at the trim tabs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The auto trim tabs. Yeah, the autos. Those are pretty freaking cool, man. Pretty sweet. Check out the Cravels. Craval. Craval. Very nice. Mm-hmm. There's our there, guy with Bonita There you boats. go. Bonitas. Yeah. I just saw the Bonita. I was like, there's the Bonitas. I told you guys. I was like, where's Mitch at? <laughs> Mitch? Yep. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Yeah. How are you? Uh, man. Yeah. What's up, brother? How you doing, What's man? going on? Yeah. Yeah, this is the owner and founder of Bonita. Wow. Nice. Bible verses is on all the switch panels. Oh yeah, I like it. Shark bait. I like the name. <laughs> Did he? Yeah. <laughs> he probably from Nemo. Shark bait. No, Ooh, ah. we, we, we like to go shark fishing. Oh, okay. And the fact that it's just small. Right. I was running through a bunch of names and he's like, that one. Yeah. What? What was he saying about the switch panel? Mm-hmm. What was he saying about them? Huh? What was he saying about the switch panels? You got Bible verses on each one. Oh. Sweet. Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go look at this one. Huh? You're going. You're going up for this one. Mm-hmm. It's a nice boat. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I'm gonna come right behind you. you right. Four wins, let's go in here. I don't know anything about these. Kong boats will stop sixty or stop by there. Well, heck yeah. Look at all the different booths. Ship shaped TV right there. Phenom. Looks like. Huh? Phenom looks like one heck of a boat. Mm hmm. Here's your pontoon central. I'm sure you love pontoons. Yeah, these phenoms are massive. Giant. That one's got a boatload of people on. Let's go over here. We'll go with the one that's got the least amount. Look at that electric reel. Isn't that ridiculous? It's got two of them. Sixteen thousand. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Oh, here's your stereo control. The Phenom 37. The what? The Explore. Nice looking boats. I do like this. Huh? I like this boat. This boat with a purpose. Explore. Sweet little boat. Look at this. That tiller. It's got the tiller. Oh, no. It's interesting, <laughs> ain't it? The tiller. Huh. All right, here's, here's the conks. What about them? Bam! What about conks? It's a conch boat, dude. These are nice. Okay, I've never heard of them. Oh, C. Exactly what I was saying with the Simrads. Let's go check it out. 
It's exactly what I was saying with the Simrads. I'm starting to get hungry. What is oh, this? These guys are sponsored by Deckett. Yeah, it's or probably, at least there's it's Deckett. Probably, it's probably on the Sean's boats. buddy. Oh, here's the electric. Mobile. Yeah, there's one of those. 190 horsepower. 190 horsepower. Is that what it comes out to? Hmm? 190 horsepower is what it comes out to? 180. 180. Yeah, that's what I said earlier, isn't it? It's, it's got Bluetooth, navigation, and entertainment. Interruption, ladies and gentlemen, pardon the interruption. I do like these conks. Very nice. This is the Conk 41. These are nice. And it's also got the, oh, but this one's really aggressive. Really aggressive non-skid? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, it's, it'll wear down over time, you know? Oh, bilge lights are on. They're on. Let's pop nice. the bilge. There's bilge lights. I don't turn them off. Let's pop the bilge. What? They've got to be on for a reason. Mm, someone turned them on. Well, yeah. Yeah. Let's see what this situation looks like. Oh, snap. Is one, two, three, four, five, six batteries up in there. Dang. Yeah, I like it. There's the power steering pumps right there. Dang, it's clean. That is clean. Mm-hmm. Yep. Got plenty of speakers. This thing's probably loud. Dang. Pontoon Central. It's a nice pontoon. Yeah, see, Aaron. I like it. That one says C Star Stabilized, not C Star Optional. C Star Stabilized? Yeah, this one. No, no, no. Meet up. 86,000. The one from Dynamic Boats right there? Yeah. The one? Where do you it see that? C Star Stabilized. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Hi. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. 
You like it? I like this boat. I like the hull. I hope you like that one too. I mean, they're pretty much the same. Yeah, they're, they're the same hull, I think. Daddy, look at them alien stickers on the like back. Like the Ozark shootout, Top Gun, 2022. Hmm? Look at the alien stickers on the back. I don't even know what that means. STR. Mm. two rigging tubes per motor. There is two rigging tubes. And look at that power cable. That's oh, a battery ooh. cable. Well, it's probably because there's 180 volts going to that thing. What was it? Dang, that's like a negative quad aught. It's crazy. How they made that. How you doing? Doing all right? How long does the charge last? Excuse me? How long does the charge last? It's going to vary on the amount of abuse. If you're usually a full charge, it be anywhere from four out two and a half to four hours okay. of running at you know, anywhere from two and a half hours at 22 to 25 miles an hour. And, um, so your range is probably about like 40 miles. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's... Um, you know, obviously, as the battery technology changes, the whole goal is going to obviously yeah. to get your range up and, your range and speed up exactly. for sure and like when we built the the go fast boat that was just all about showing the capabilities of what electric could do mm -hmm. you know? um on these platforms it's been working pretty well so on the pontoons and the smaller stuff it's been a pretty good thing so far it's got to be nice with yeah that instant power no it's different uh -huh. it's different it's right insane, yeah man. that's um that instant torque is absolutely nuts yeah, but yeah. Look at the look at the look at the little engine on the back. <laughs> look at the look at the handle. Look at the handle. <laughs> yeah, this little guy is. That might as well be with a kicker. <laughs> That's hilarious. Donnie, okay. Control box connoisseur. Ooh. Yes. Let's, Let's hear it. it. But I gotta feel it. Hold on. Okay. You know what? It is very different in the fact that you have to pull it out to shift. And it only really throws. Which makes sense, like a couple inches, because it's like all the power's right there. You know what? That would take some getting used to. That would take a whole lot of getting used to. Uh -huh. That is. These are the Seaborn. No, Sea Cat. Dude, these things. Have you ever seen the, the video on them? Mm -mm. They, they actually ride really nice. That thing right there is pretty ridiculous. I'll text you right now. Yeah. Look. Let me put it in my phone. 
So, we haven't done well, this Freeman, right over here, Donnie. Like Freeman Cats, yeah, those big yachts. These guys are like a mini Freeman in terms of like ride quality and I do like handling. the color of those, don't you? Those Verados in gray. There's something about it. I really like it. I really like here, that gray. Back up. Because of the way it, because of the way it mixes with the silver. It's like two very slightly different tones. All right, Donnie, this is probably more your style right here. Hey. I do you like the bank? Yeah. Your grill and all that. Listen, this these are okay. This is your style though, isn't it? Mm, no, because I still want the boat to move, right? When I hit the throttles, I want it to go forward in a decent, I bet this at a decent pace. I bet yeah. she skeets. You know, I bet you she doesn't. I bet you she'll hit a decent speed, but she'll take forever to get there. Oh, hold on. Yeah, Aaron. So you gotta charge your phone. You gotta charge your phone, this is the place. Oh yeah. Say, let me. Charging, that's pretty cool. I like that. Dude, this is super spacious. Man, why doesn't anything like this ever roll up through Shelter Bay? Because it's already gotten to crap by the time it gets to us. Oh, man. Yeah. They were quite fancy, they say. Eh? Like her, Don? You know, it's a bit nice. Spacious. I mean, you, you could literally, I mean, you could have six, seven people in here. What or more a, now. What about a sea keeper, though? Does it have one? I, bet, they, it, I bet it could be back there. Oh, man. Who knows what's on there? They're probably all just storage. I bet there is a sea keeper. On to the next one. Yeah. You don't have to tell me twice. $320,000. Really? Yeah, that definitely ain't got a sea keeper in it. <laughs> See, I like these. I do like these boats. It's gonna be back here somewhere. and stuff over there. There you go. Oh. I thought it was the... No, no, I thought it was the zip wake. I thought it was the zip wake thing. Mm. No. Let's go, let's go around this way.
I know, I love them wava, man. That's my that's my jam right there, boy. Oh, this boat has the Sea Keeper uh, trim tabs on it. Where? That one. This one and does? The one behind it. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. Yep. Sea Keeper. Auto trim tabs. Yep. Level you out. Sweet. Keep you level too. Look at these things. Yeah, with little Tahatsus. Pretty interesting. These things are quite gimmicky, aren't they? Kind of cool. Oh, they got lollipops, dude. Do you have to sign something for a lollipop? <laughs> I'll take it. Wooden boats. Bailey Custom Boats. Yep. Yeah. What's going on? How's it going? Yep. Still running around. What's your first thoughts on this? It's interesting. <laughs> Everything's made directly from the manufacturing facility. Every piece of metal. Really? Now, didn't they say the wood's like all like 200 years old or something? It's cut down 200 years ago. The wood, longest wood, is 1500 years old. Jeez. That's insane. Wow. Yeah. And it's reclaiming. Wow. It's really green. Cause you, yeah. You know, you're not cutting down new trees. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Catch yourself into a different ground. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. So he was saying the wood is like underwater? Yeah, so what happened was is when the settlers were setting them west, mm -hmm. they started cutting this virgin cut cypress wood. Hey, you need to get this for the YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, there you go. You're on, baby. All right, so this wood, when the settlers were settling west and crossing the Mississippi River, mm -hmm. coming into Louisiana, and the French were coming up from the south of Louisiana, you had all these virgin stands of trees that had been growing for 1,500, 2,000 years. They had never been touched. When they come in there and axe cut these trees down, mm -hmm. they started building cabins with it, started building bridges across the Mississippi River, barges with it, stuff like that. Right. And then they started milling it. They started floating it down the river when this wood's got oil in it. Mm -hmm. And the older it is, the more oil is in it, so it makes it heavy. Right. Mm -hmm. And the sediment out of it, there's a lot of sediment in the Mississippi River. A little bit of sand will wash up on these logs and it sinks them. And then they stayed sunk for years and years and years. Oh, wow. Okay. And then when storms and floods, stuff like that comes through, it exposes and drags up these logs. Mm -hmm. When the bridges got washed down from the flood, okay. a lot of these, all these logs are axe cut, got pegs in them. And because of that, because of the way they've been cured and underwater for 200 years, this wood had never rot, termite resistant. Uh, there's no stain on this wood. All of those colors you see, come from the nitrates and the chemicals in the water mm -hmm. uh, that cause the, the color in the water. Wow. And that's just an epoxy coating? That's a, a high solid, two-part uh, polyurethane coating, the same coating they use on Gulf Stream jets. Okay, yep. Same way with the black on the pato. That's a high solid polyurethane, same thing Gulf Stream and Boeing use painting jets. Now, Man. is it still excreting oil? 
from the wood or is it like no, it's pretty good. much dried out? It's dried. It once takes you pull it out? Once you pull it out, you can't put this wood in a dry kill and dry it. If you do it, it's split all up. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. It's no good. Okay. You gotta, it takes about a year for it to dry once it comes out. You gotta saw it up, mill it, it's gotta sit. Very long process. That's why these boats, we're really selling these boats by $70,000, $80,000 under value. Mm -hmm. Trying to get the first hundred out. Right. Uh, these boats are doing nothing but gang value. They've been here for generations. Kind of like the old Chris Craft boats. Oh, yeah, yep. yep. Uh, they'll gain value over time because the wood is so limited and because we're only going to build a limited number. It's not like yeah. this, these boats are cooking cover. There's only yeah. so much wood in the river. <laughs> yeah. well, and you got to wait for the storm. Yeah. No, even though we're building a hundred, not two out of a hundred to be the same. Right. Because we're custom designing every floor plan for each individual customer. We build your boat for you. Right. Yeah. Love it. Wow. It's awesome. I think, I think he was saying this boat goes 55, right? It, yes, sir. 55 mile an hour? And you can tell any of these other boats, try to people in here, horsepower for horsepower. This boat weighs 5,200 pounds. There's a big misconception about the weight. Mm -hmm. This boat weighs 5,200 pounds. Those boats weigh a thousand pounds. Horsepower for horsepower, we will outrun any tritune boat in this building, and more than willing to line them up side by side anytime mm -hmm. we're ready. It's awesome. That made for some cool videos. <laughs> yeah. All uh, right. You see how it turns and hits the way. This is the smoothest ride you've ever rode. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Thank you. It's pretty sick. I kind of like these things. It's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. Oh, open this up. Huh? That's what I did. Yeesh! A little storage in there. Yeah. Super cool. It really looks like, this is like for someone who's got a log cabin and wants a nice boat to accompany their log cabin. Mm-hmm. And then I got the power steering pump in there. It's a Gen 1 though, Gen B. It's definitely been in the water. Oh, that's a rock. It's an aluminum hull or steel? I don't know that. So are these aluminum hulls or? It's aluminum hull. We put sink plate. We put sink plates for salt water. Okay. It's an aluminum hull. It's actually a cross between a tri tube and a V hull. So what made you go with the Mercs? That's my favorite engine to work on. Yeah. Okay. When you're trying to push weight, you're trying to push these fiberglass boats, some of these Suzuki's, all that other stuff. When you're trying to push weight, yep. Mm -hmm. Mercury is the only way to ride. Yep. I like it. Have you put a V8 on one? Uh. Yeah, 350, but like, like you're saying with the weight, so that's a 2.6 liter, yeah. whereas the V8 is a 4.3 liter. Yeah, we have not. Because I bet this thing would go just as fast, if not faster, 
even with the 300 yeah. on the V8, just because yeah. you got that bigger bore yeah. to move more weight. Yeah. Yeah, those V8s are really torquey. Yeah, they're torquey. Low end yeah. torquey. I mean, I, I love that engine, so I, you know, I, yeah. that's. He said 50. That engine right there, we're in the 54, 55, depending oh. on how many people are on the boat. Yep. The smoothest ride you ever had. Wow. Love it. Oh, yeah, I saw the handling, that thing. All right, so gentlemen. Get them a bomb and get them a massage. Oh, that's an exploding offer, man. I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, we're going to move on. Yeah, appreciate it. See ya. Man, they're so nice if I had. They're actually really nice. Yeah, yeah. No, hold on. I don't think I've ever seen a pontoon or a tune boat. 